Um, I like the surface a lot. It's a great little surface. I've just started um, putting some pages in my books with them. And um, I like the way they, I like the way they print. They give you like a little bit of a silver kind of thing going on. They give you a little bit of a reflection. <laughs> I'm into doing a thousand square foot, uh, uh, what do they call those things? No, I can't think of the word. Installation with them. So I have been saving cans. And my neighbors are saving cans. And my friends are saving cans. Uh, they don't go very far when you're trying to put them together and do things with them. But what, what I like about them is it's a really good way to learn metal because you can use metal flashing, which is perfectly fine. But it is a little thicker and it is, is a little more detrimental to your printer if you get it stuck. So with these, you know, if you hear a clink, you can stop them and you don't really care too much. And then I think I have one here that was, maybe I don't. Um, you ha they don't they're not as thick. So they're easier for you to put on a piece of paper and put through your printer and you can still have the metal surface. These are both, uh, you know, dyed fabrics. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to add coatings to the top of them to give them some kind of texture or grid. When I, when I created these, Good job, Kath. When I created these, what I did was I printed so that you could see all the different kinds of coatings going down the fabric. One is dyed yellow, one is dyed teal, or whatever you call that. So you obviously, we've already talked about the fact that you can get a really fine print from the white mat. 